Alright, this is Mofo See That. Uh, sorry for the mess on the table. It's been a busy house. But today, what we're looking at is the Loot Crate October 2015 uh, theme, which is time, which is quite uh, good seeing as this past, what, Tuesday, the 21st, was um, oof, the date in which Back to the Future 2 took place. So I'm going to see a good time here with more new stuff. And speaking of Back to the Future, we have the uh, Loot Crate exclusive number 236, Dr. Emmett Brown, which looks cool. He has the wire cables, jumper cables, and electric charge going through them. Pretty cool. Because, exclusive, because this is near the end of the first movie. The goggles, he's on the clock tower. As you see, the regular figures are 49 and 50, which is Marty and Doc Brown in his uh scientist gear for the um experiment in the first part of the movie. So, pop it out for a bit to show. Pretty cool. Like these are clear plastic for the lenses. The translucent pack uh plastic looks pretty good. The silver is painted on, but that's okay. Uh, so is the black and orange parts of the nubs. Pretty good detail on them. See the notepad, pens, etc. That's pretty cool. Uh, mine is missing an eyebrow, though. He has one eyebrow up here on the left side and none there. Or not an eyebrow. This is the cut that he gets when he conks his head on the uh, bathroom tile, I think. I gotta remember, these don't have eyebrows in the first place, so that'd be weird. It only has one. So this one, this is a shirt that came with some weird paper crap. So this one, Nice. Uh, so because it's freaking dark lettering, this is Bill and Ted, and it says "Be excellent to each other" from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which is pretty chill. It's another good time movie. And now the lighting back to normal. Back to normal. Okay. So here's the the flux capacitor, October 2015 time. You can focus, focus, focus. Nope, not gonna do it for me. I don't know. Well, here, ooh, the hoverboard one fifth scale replica. It's pretty nice. And more of this packing crap. Another loot crate exclusive from Quantum Mechanic Incorporated here in California. Don't know where we're exactly in California. Let's pop this bad boy open. So it comes with a business card. QMXOnline.com, look at exclusive. Oh. It's also a certificate of authenticity. This document certifies this one to fifth scale replica of the Back to the Future 2 hoverboard was created by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under license from Universal Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. It has the CAOs of Quantum Mechanic Inc. and Loot Crate signing Andy Gore and Chris Davis. Let's get this thin part of packaging out of here. Let's see how nice this shit is. 
flaps on the side. Oof. Side foam. Right, so this. Pretty cool. You can. Ah, yes. Yeah, so you can take this off. Uh, I assume this part is a mistake because the front really does not want to budge and I don't want to fidget it anymore. Then I need to. If you're breaking the damn thing. This is pretty nice. A nice replica. Of course, it's static. I guess here's a little hole for the uh, the handle. You see, it's a mirror below. A bit dirty, but it's pretty cool. See, you have the imprint label on it. Show the light to it right there. So that's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of foamy in this here, though. Uh, this here for the sides. I don't know why these aren't longer pieces for it though. I don't know why they were stuck near the middle. Okay, it's a really cool addition. And here's this thing on the back here. Which is ah, BBC. It's a Doctor Who Sonic Spork. Another Loot Crate exclusive. Ooh, based off the, I want to say off the design, based off the 11th Doctor. It's, my sister has a replica of the 11th Doctor, so I'm pretty sure this is it, because it's green up here. It's nice, it's metal. I don't see metal sporks too often. It's a little, yep, it's a spork, alright, it only has four tips. Two prongs and the two outer ones here to get a grip on stuff. So that's pretty cool. Nice and shiny. I don't see any uh, scuff marks. Pretty cool. There's writing on this part, the screwdriver, which you can't see. These, the silver pieces, I think are separate because I can pull on them. I can hear them like going into the rest of the spoons. So that's very interesting. Putting this inside, I don't want to damage it too much by doing stupid stuff with it. Okay, and down here is the last part, which is the book, which is things thicker here. It's either the 11th Doctor or the 12th Doctor, I'm not sure anymore. Party on, dudes! You can see all the various time travel. It's all um, Bill and Ted. TARDIS down here. The DeLorean down here. Bill, Ted, Lincoln, um, Rufus, Napoleon, Socrates. Pretty cool. So it made it up like a stage. But let's look at the book. The book is interesting. This one has the 12th Doctor, the TARDIS, at a time license plate. Bill of Ted right here. Let me see. Time for a change. So here's the photos from the last loot crate, which was a uh, uh, villain. Here's cosplaying the crate. So it's a Bill and Ted checklist for the costumes, so that's pretty cool. Marty McFly. And here's the Mega Crate. The Mega Crate looks awesome. It's more computery this year. The mini Mega Crate's more Dark Who based. The crate ones. And here's the Quote from the 10th Doctor. Uh, product team interview. Where are you going? You don't need roads from top to crown. It's a. Nice. It's a. The license plate on the DeLorean, the at a time. Let's see what's on the back here. Oh, and here's the back side, which is the Who's Your Doctor infographic. So you can 
do yes and no. So, let's see. Do you like your heroes serious or fun loving? Uh, grumpy, old school, new school, scarves, bow ties, bright colors, martial arts, master, vegetables, heroes, tack, eyebrows, master strategist. So, all of these, the choices are very uh, Doctor Who references. They'll specifically get you a doctor if you want one to be yours. And here's it's perforated right here, so you can take it out of the booklet. That's why I thought it was so thick because this is in here. So here is the future imperfect page, which talks about. There's been a lot of videos and articles about what Back to Future 2 got right. So hoverboards, kind of. Jaws 19. Nope, not even Jaws. What? Seven? Is that yet? I've watched all the Jaws movies. After three, it gets really crap. Drones in common use? Yep. Flat screens, TV channels? Yep. Bojo, Lobo, and Tranks? No, but we could bring that back. That'd be pretty nice. Biometric ID? Yeah, kind of, but it doesn't really work that well. Ambiguous fax machines? Nope. Video game play without using your hands? Yep. Oculus Rip? Personal tech uses a dinner table? Yep. Flying cars, kind of. You can make them uh, fly a little bit if we jump it off a cord. Uh, here, this is something called the level up part where you, if you put in a couple dollars extra, it's like 15, 19 bucks, I'm not sure. But you pay a little bit more, you get more clothing uh, accessories like uh, socks and scarves and whatnot. Interesting, but I don't really want to uh, buy into that. So here's the exclusive Doc Brown figure from Funko. The Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, dude. And here's the hoverboard replica. The Doctor Who um, Spork. I'm pretty sure this is the 11th Doctor. I'm pretty sure 12th changed his when he regenerated before he got the sunglasses, but you know what I mean. And the time button, which you put on your backpack, and well, it's a pen, you can put it anywhere, basically. And as always, we love you. We love you too, Luke Crate. So basically, this is the time crate, which is pretty nice. Um, See how this is fitting again. It's in like that and then like that. Okay. So, uh, join me next month for December's Loot Crate. Um, Starting with this, it's like ch ch challenge or something. It's like something violent e. That should be interesting. Um, join me the month after for the bi-monthly uh, Marvel Collector's Core. It's Guardians of the Galaxy themed. Check out my other reviews. I uploaded most of my reviews that I can do. Uh, I still need to finish up the Anime Expo 2014 stuff. I haven't built some of the gun paws. I need to get uh, better memory card to do it. Um, well, that's it. I have some other stuff I wanted to review. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.